Hey what's up guys, it's Andrew and today I'm going to be showing you how to mirror your display while at the same time keeping your screen off. Now we're going to be doing this by installing the free app called Screen Standby. So that app can be downloaded directly from the Play Store. So go ahead and search for that and then download it. After that you'll just have to open it up. Now when you first open it you will have to go through a setup wizard. But there's nothing really to set up. All you have to do is select your device. I'm using the M8 so all you have to do is select generic HTC device. And then say that you're going to be streaming or mirroring your display. After that, tap next, and this does say that you that it needs root, but there is also a non-root method, but it will not save you as much battery life, and your phone still has a chance of overheating a little bit. After you're all done, tap finish, and now you can start setting up your settings. So now you can set up your screen off method. If you want to have the non-root method, all you have to do is check that box, and then select the effectiveness down to 0%, so that you you save the most battery as possible. 1-2 dim mode is pretty much like a timeout so if you leave your phone alone for like about like 15 seconds it'll automatically turn off so all you do is enable that and then select the timer to how long you want the timeout time to be. And then if you ever want to bring the phone back on during that mode all you have to do is tap the screen and it'll start your screen back up. You also have sensor and proximity settings so you could have your screen turn off and on by shaking your device or facing it up and down. And same thing goes with proximity sensor. If you enable that, you have the option to set if you want your hand to hover over it to turn it off and on or if you want to only be on when you hover your hand over the proximity sensor which is right on top of your phone. Now you could also set up a app whitelist so pretty much when any of those apps are open it will automatically turn off your screen. So just be sure to have your screen mirroring prior to that or else the screen will not turn back on unless you restart your device. Now there's also the option to set your device as a touchpad when the screen is off. This is this is really buggy right now. I would, I've tried it so far on the M8 and the OnePlus One and both of them hasn't really been giving me that smooth of a experience. Alright so now that you have the Alright, so now that you have screen standby all set up, all you have to do is cast your screen either way, either through a cable or through your Chromecast. I'll go ahead and do that now. So now after that, I like to set this up with a widget. So all you have to do is go to your home screen, add the widget, scroll down to the screen standby widget. Now you'll have an easy way to turn your screen off and on. Alright, so you can see here that I already have my screen casted onto my TV. Now all that's left to do is to either turn off your screen through the screen standby app or through the widget. And you can see here that I already have my device off while it is still mirroring. Alright, so now I'm going to use my PS3 controller to open up Dead Trigger 2 and then I'll be able to use that without having my screen on, saving me my battery, and preventing any kind of overheating happening to my device. Alright guys, that's gonna do it for this video. Be sure to check out the full guide link in the description below to get the full breakdown of the app. And like always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good one, guys.